Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be talking about a little bit of a gold nugget of information that I found on the internet. I'm going to be setting the idle and the timing speed on this Nissan Frontier. So why am I going to go ahead and reset those options? Well for one a lot of people complain about when it parked at a stoplight that the engine feels like it's misfiring and that's not really the case. What it is is the engine's trying to maintain the idle speed and uh, what it does it tries to kick that engine back up and give it a little bit more gas so it feels like a misfire it feels like you know something is wrong uh, that's just not the case Nissan actually made the idle speed a little bit too low uh, we're going to reset it up approximately 50 to 100 extra rpm and then also uh, we're going to set the timing to two degrees now why would we advance the timing well, when you advance the timing, you get a little bit more efficiency out of the engine. However, I will explain that it's probably not the efficiency that uh, you may think it is. It's just a little minor efficiency in the engine, but I don't think it's going to make all that difference. So, what you'll need to get started is you'll need a device like this. This is an ODB2 Bluetooth connection. That's just really quick if you're not familiar with these adapters. Uh, this one is old. It's probably 10 years old. They don't make it anymore. It's a Kiwi PLX. Uh, what I would recommend though is to get, uh, this one has a little switch on it. Um, you can switch that off so that it doesn't drain your vehicle battery. You just want to get under the dash and plug that right into the U connector. And then you'll want to pair it to your Android device. Make sure that the Bluetooth is on. And then uh, pull up your application. Like for instance, oh, if I can do it with one finger. Um, I have Torque. Torque is a really good app. And, um, you know, get this connected up. Device will start connecting the little light will go out. So I'm going to go ahead and warm up the engine. When we get back, I'll bring up the uh, CVT Z50 application and I'll show you how to go ahead and change the idle speed and the timing. All right, so I have the CVT Z50 application installed. We're going to go ahead and we're going to change the RPMs for the idle. And as you can see, you know, there's different selections on here from 50 up to 375. Um, I'm not going to change it to uh, just 50 RPM and click OK. And the uh, change was made successful. Now if I go back into it, we can set it at 75. And then you can kind of feel the engine just now I don't know if you could hear it but I kind of feel it just boosting that up just a little bit so now it's set at around 700 and some 750 let's go back in here one more time yeah all right And then if you long press this, uh, oops, I'm not sure if this is the right one. Oh, right here, if you long press it, you get into the timing. So right now you can see that my timing is two degrees, um, but I went from zero, and you can go backwards from zero up to two, and, and just hit okay. The first couple of t attempts when I did the timing change, it didn't take, so you may have to try uh, multiple times. So I'll discuss real quickly what's really happening when you go ahead and you make these adjustments. So as I said, somebody that has written this application has found a way to write to the ECM. And what this really means is that you're putting in new values into the ECM in non-volatile memory. It's a memory location. Now sometimes this can be very dangerous 
is if you're not writing the right information into that spot in memory you could really start to screw up the engine this is all really kind of based on uh, you know the consult 2 and that diagnostic tool it can read all of the sensors it can read all those memory locations you have aftermarket uh, groups that go off and try to you know do tunings to the engine where they're they're increasing you know a little bit of fuel a little bit of air giving more improvement or efficiencies out of the engine and that's where the tuning groups come into play they're writing information into those memory locations that the engine is utilizing um, so that it can make those individual configurations to the engine and so I say non-volatile memory is that is memory that when you turn off um, the uh, voltage that that information doesn't get lost versus volatile when you turn off the voltage uh, like turning off the key, uh, removing the battery, that information isn't lost per se. So um, that's a little bit of background of kind of how this works. You know, there's a lot of complexity to it and whatnot. Um, this is pulled from the service manual. It's the engine control module. It's a PDF. You can download it on the internet. Uh, page 472 talks about it. This information is for t the 2012 Nissan Frontier. It's been revised in 2015. But what all this really states is how the timing operates. And I had to look this up on some of the older models. I, I had a Nissan first generation. It's very similar. However, when you're setting timing on the older generation with a cap and rotor, you really go ahead and you twist that cap to change the timing. If you've ever done that, you'll understand what I mean there. And then also, you know, you'll monitor that with a timing light. But here you can you set the timing because there's a lot more electronic controls through the ECM. And uh, what this uh, is really stating is that you can set the base timing. However, the ECM really takes over control. So during the following conditions, the ignition timing is revised by the ECM according to the other data saved in the ECM. That really means, you know, fuel, air, ratio, mixtures, um, that type of information, sensors, etc. At starting, during warm-up, at idle, at low battery voltage, and during acceleration. So your ECM is really controlling the timing for a good majority of your driving. So for instance, if you're really kind of stopped, engine is warmed, you know, it goes back to maybe a base timing. Um, however, when you start accelerating, the ECM really takes over all throughout uh, any of the driving operation um, that you're doing on that vehicle. So setting the base timing, I don't think really gives you a lot of efficiencies. Some people have said, yes, they feel, you know, the engine uh, performed better, but um, I don't think that's quite the case. The other thing is, is that I talked about base um, RPM for the idle that's really set at 625 um, it's plus or minus 50 so those are the values that are in the service manual um, that's really set to um, you know at the manufacturing um, all right to wrap up this video I didn't go ahead and show you all the options in that application the application really looks like it was more designed for the Nissan with the CVT uh, transmission in it uh, but I didn't go through those I just wanted to point out those two things that you could change on this Nissan Frontier or any VQ40DE engine in it. With that said, if you like that information, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, and also if you have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.